Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I had a hard time unmuting. <laughs> good morning. How you doing? I'm fine. Good. 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 Yeah, hanging in there. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's all we do. Good morning, how are you? Hey, good, good morning, good. everyone. Woke me up this morning. That's what he did. He woke me up. Good morning. Talking to this thing. Yvonne, okay. you're today I'm a bunny. I, I see that. Uh huh. With a with the earth background. <laughs> you on two different devices? Uh uh, I'm only on one. No, I'm talking about um Irvin. Oh yes, I am. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the video off on one. I'm on my desktop and my iPad. Plus, she's oh, a girl. What did you uh, say? But look, she's got on two devices. I'm going good. I'm on one. I still it's, haven't learned how to work the phone. Just watch it because it will uh, echo if you want to sometime. Yeah, I turned the sound off on my computer. Oh, yes, good. we can hear you now. Uh huh. So, so you don't get that echo. Yes, right. you're clear now. Uh huh. Okay, great. So. When you have two, when you have two devices on, um, is are both devices Apple? No, no, not necessarily. No, okay. they're not. So One is my desktop, the which is Microsoft uh, Word, Microsoft. Uh -huh. Okay. Because I have an Android phone, and I have the iPad, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Uh, that means that you were supposed to meet now. Yeah. Somebody has their television on, or sounds right. This game is called My Boyfriend Sounds Like a So, somebody got a TV on. Somebody has a TV on. Uh, that, that, and if you're correct, 500 bucks. Okay, okay. And I'd like to make 500 bucks, but that doesn't sound like you could make 500 bucks. <laughs> mm. oh, John. Gotta work for it, whatever it is. You're gonna have to work for it. What is this? <laughs> a second? <And> go. <laughs> Mr. Gray, is that you with the TV on? No. Nope. We only need the one because whatever you I don't say, know who that is. Isn't that me? I cut mine off. <laughs> not me either. It's not me either. Okay, stop talking. I can tell you who it is. They cut it off. I'm so proud of myself. I upgraded uh, the computer, I mean, the iPad didn't make a mistake today. All right. I wrote everything down just in case I went the wrong way so I can go back home. <laughs> Did any of y'all iPad? Huh? Did y'all um, do the thing she's talking about today on your iPad? I did that, I did that this morning. That's why I was up at half the night trying to get it done. Well, what are you talking about? Upgrade it. Upgrading your iPad. But that's, that's what they're going to do that's, this that's, morning. That's, but mine was done last week uh, because that's of, a, I, I got to kicked out of the meeting. You, you, can, you can set it for upgrade when oh, it needs to keep going in it. Okay. Good morning, huh? Good morning, oh, Miss James. Yes. All right. So it's ready to learn what is what is the operating system all about, the cloud, and how do you back up your photographs? Just in case yes, ma'am. That's what we're going to learn about today. Back in the morning. Uh -huh. And upgrading the operating system. Good morning. Um, 
you're actually my beta uh, group because I have to introduce this topic to 1500 of us. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yes, Whoa. so you're my first group uh, I'm working with and I'll see how this goes. And if I mess up on this one, then I know how to improve it for the next group. <laughs> In other words, it depends on how smoothly this one runs. Okay. And hopefully we can get all 1500 iPads updated with the new operating system. That's the goal. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's the Thanksgiving shopping going? Oh, uh, that last minute to do. I'm almost finished. I'm sending my granddaughter. I haven't been in the store in over two years. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm getting a turkey tomorrow at church, and everything else is in the house ready to cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Sandra, right. you haven't been out of the house in two years? Since COVID started. Oh my goodness. Only to the hospital. Oh my goodness. Mm. But that's all right because I'm getting ready to get out of here. They're going to look for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Love it. Oh, They're going to be looking for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, now that I started. I'm going to tell you to come on and go with me. <laughs> but now that I start walking, they're going to have to search for me. They have to search for you. You're going to take your wings and fly. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the casino with me. <laughs> hey. I don't like losing money. <laughs> uh -uh, I take $25. That's it. When that 25 you said, right, gone, but you, you, said, set a, you set a budget and you win or lose, and, and that's it. And you leave. I know. I used to go with my aunt. And she would freeze her coins before she went. Hmm. And what? every time she did that, she would hit the jackpot. What? Uh-uh, okay. I'm going to do that. Let me, the, the 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 okay. Let me put the some money in the Let me put some money in the freezer. <laughs> she didn't bring none of it back home. Uh-uh, I got to bring it back home. That's <laughs> right. That's the whole idea, right? You can bring some uh, money. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, money that's back the whole home. idea. Mm -hmm. Bring but more than what she, you left with. Every time she frees her coins, she would hit the jackpot. She hit two jackpots in one night. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. I no, it's not for her. We had to stop her from going because she don't never bring nothing home. Oh, no. no, no. Keep feeding the machine back. Yeah. She give it right back to, that's like my no, dog. Uh-uh, you, you can't do that. I hit a, a jackpot in January, my biggest ever and it was for twenty three thousand. Oh my goodness! Whoa! I know you came home with all that. You know I did. They wrote me a check. No, I would have left yes, right yes. in there. <laughs> I got a check and I put it right in my account. Mm. There you go. They knew. No, they. When they, I go up there, when I go up there, I take me about twenty. I take a hundred dollars. Take my bank card and stuff and leave it at home. Credit card and leave it at home. When I that's right. Money, that's it. I ain't, I saved me fifty to come back with, and if enough, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna stay there. I'm leaving. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> set a budget. Mm. You got that's to because if you don't, because if you don't, you gonna look around there. You're more. You know, send your mortgage out. No, nope, never day. Something else in there, and then you look around. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, no, no, I ain't gonna go that far. I'll pay oh, all your bills first. You got some up there that are crazy enough to do it. Oh, I know. I heard a lady say, Well, at least I paid my bills this month. I said, What? <laughs> uh, no, no, no I'll, I'll pay some money in my pocket for later. What I have left is what I what I spend. Uh huh. Right now. Yeah. I you know make where sure my I got love roof was. over my head and food in the refrigerator. That's so. right. Hey. <laughs> you know where my luck was? My luck was in bingo. Mm -hmm. Well, there too. It's something to do just to get out the house. I hit the bingo jackpot one night, and my daughter turned around the next night and hit it. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. I hope everyone has is having a great day. Hey Alex. Hey, Alex. Hi Alex. How are you? Hello. Good. 
We made it to yes, Friday. Yes. That's all that counts. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we just got started. As you know, we're um, once a year, um, Apple does an update on the operating system. And there are many reasons why. And we're going to look at the reasons. We're also going to look at the importance of backing up your iPad. And then followed by that, we're actually going to back up my, we're actually going to, I'm going to show you how I back up my device and then how I update my device to the new system. I did not update mine because I wanted to show you how on my device. And then followed by that, all of you will do yours while we're still in class. Okay, so that's that's our plans for today. Uh, but I can't. Pardon me? I can't, because I already did it. Okay, well, good. Maybe you can oh. help out a little bit with those who are struggling. <laughs> and and Miss James, they they updated mine last week when I got kicked out of your class. Um, uh -huh. kept cutting off my, my um um iPad kept cutting off. Oh. And I uh huh. And I called in the helpline, and so she showed me how she called me the next day Thursday, and uh -huh. um update helped me update it. Okay. It was simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, very simple. Uh -huh. Look, I felt real intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> but you are intelligent. You are. <laughs> thank, thank you, darling. Thank you for the confidence. <laughs> okay. Recently, I, I updated mine, but I'm not sure if I did the backup part. When you oh yeah, the... we'll find out. We'll look. We'll okay. take a look at yours and find out. Okay. And it's important for you to know about backing up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll get right there. Back up. Right, before we get into today's lecture, let's look at the library visits. The uh, help desk is saying that they're getting too many calls about library training. And if I could make it a point to advertise it more frequently on my um, classes, so I'm doing so. So we have library classes coming up, uh, well, today at 12.30. Uh, this is at Shaw, followed by Monday the 21st at Lamont Riggs at South Dakota Avenue Northeast, Tuesday um, 22nd at, Park, at Connecticut Avenue Northwest, and then the very last before Thanksgiving break, the Wednesday on the 23rd at Bellevue Atlantic Avenue Southwest. All these classes begin from 12.30 to 3.30. Be sure if you need to um, go to the library, call the 202-800-6868 or email library at Wildtech to get your reserve your time slot. It's important because if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, meaning no one else but you and the trainer, then that's what you need to do, okay? But of course, I think I have, a, I have the smartest group here, and so you don't need that, do you? Nope. <laughs> No, because <laughs> so you, you taught it right. Right. So we're today we're going to look at the um, the iOS 16 that gives you a powerful new ways to do more than ever to share and communicate with people who matter. Level up the productivity of your iPad. The apps are all across the system are going to be more intuitive, more customizable, and more capable. So we're looking at iPad. OS 16 update. All right, so the first thing we need to know, and um, I think it's only right to you to know, well, if I'm upgrading, what, what is the purpose behind it? And, and what is an operating system? It is the most powerful, it's the most important software that runs on a computer, the most important. It manages the computer memory and processes. It manages the software and hardware. It also allows you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language. Without an operating system, the computer is useless. So as you can see from the image that I have here, it's like the brain, right? If our brains were to shut down right now, would we, would we be functionable? No. 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 no, I don't think so, right? So it's the brain, all right? So your operating system manages, like I mentioned, all the software and hardware. Most of the time, there's several different computer running programs at the same time. Yes, on your device, there's more than one program that's running at the same time. 
and it's and it's all needs to be accessed through the computers, what is known as the central processing unit, CPU, memory and storage. Again, this is another part. You can call the CPU um, another part of the brain per se. Processing. The operating system coordinates all of this to make sure each program gets what it needs. That's what the operating system does. So why updating your operating, why? Why do we need to? Okay, so it's, it's, we the see hackers. It's, 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 right, yes, yes, that's for- And then new things are happening all the time. So I guess right. additional mm -hmm. information. Right, so when you see those pesty reminders popping up on your monitor, they're always reminding you that your applications and drivers are out of date. So when you see a reminder to update, question it. Don't just ignore it. It always seems like they're rare, they're ugly reminders right when you're in the middle. And it does, it comes up when you're in the middle of something important. Well, you should follow them and keep your computer update. Operating system. Okay. So the iOS up okay. updates have security uh patches that can cover security holes and keep the hackers out of the network. Latest and greatest features, such as in addition to the security fixes, um, software updates can include new or improved features, as well as improve the compatibility with various devices or applications. So this, this operating system update is key. All right, with the operating system, part of it and the reason are come what are known as patches, where they're actually patching things that are went wrong. For example, contrary to what we believe, Updates are not designed to ruin our lives. In fact, they are designed to make our computers safer and keep hackers from exploiting vulnerable spots. So what happens um, now that they've upgraded to 16, the, the hackers now are gonna be looking at 16 to see where the vulnerabilities are so that they can break into your system. Mm -hmm. So that's why patches are put in place. So you might get an update three months from now because something has been revealed where the hackers went in and figure out, oh, oop, you know, they say you're as what? You're as strong as your weakest link. So once the hacker figure out where the weak link is in the, up, you know, in the operating system, the hackers go after it and then the system actually is no longer strong. And so they, they have to keep patching it to make sure that it's, it's still robust mm -hmm. and that the hackers are basically not able to exploit the system. All right, updates can fix the code that allows hackers to install, listen to this, to install damaging malware on your computer or even delete important files. Yes, they can get into your device. The things that you've been so busy working on that you think you don't have time to update your software, those are at risk if you decide to ignore the reminder. So how long does the update take? Yep. Yeah. The good thing about installing updates is that you just have to click a button mm -hmm. from those, I guess, mm -hmm. um, Brenda will tell you all she had to do was click a button, right? right. And it's if it's set up correctly, then you don't yes. even have to do that. And I'll tell you how you don't have to do that. We're going to look at that too. <clears throat> All right. So the average time for an update uh, takes between 10 to 20 minutes. When you include the five to 10 minutes for the setup, the iOS 16 upgrade procedure should take no more from 20 to 45 minutes max. That's setting it up included that why it takes but the actual update only takes about 20 minutes, but you've got to set it up. All right, so let's look at the steps in, um, before you even um, go start updating, the most important thing before you do, it's like you're going on a vacation, you're using your car, and you want to make sure that you have enough oil, you have enough petrol, the car is in good shape before you get on the road. Well, for safety measures, you always want to back up what you have on your device before you do an update. Always uh -oh. back up. Didn't do that. It says with all of the possibilities of what 
could go wrong, creating a backup should be the first thing on your to-do list when planning to upgrade your OS, your operating system. Backup, backing up your data is simple. So let's look at what it takes to back up. All right, if you back up your iPad, you'll have a copy of information to use in case your device is ever what? Replaced, lost, or damaged. So let's say um, you didn't back up and you started to upgrade um, what you had and if something goes wrong, you're in trouble. So they're saying here, reserve, back it up and then update. And once you update and everything is fine, you don't have to worry about you know, losing data. All right, so checking your iPad storage. So the one thing you wanna do also in having your iPad is to always check your, your uh, iPad storage. It's something you should do if you're one of those like myself who forever always taking images, always doing all sorts of things with your iPad. You want to do check your storage on a regular basis just to see how things are. So I took a screenshot of my iPad actually just this morning to show you how you can check your iPad storage. And to do so, you'd wanna go to settings, of course, then go to general, then to iPad storage. You can see from where I'm pointing to that my storage is at 20.3 gigabytes being used. I've already used up two thirds of my actual space on my device. Therefore, I have about 12 gigabytes of space left on my device. And actually, if you look at the image that I have, it is a screenshot of mine. You'll see it's actually telling you in the various colors what is occupying the space that I have on my device. Mm -hmm. I've got apps, I've got messages, I've got mail, I've got photographs all occupying that 20.3 gigabytes that's being used. All right, so when you think of, okay, I'm used, I've used up 20, uh, two thirds, about two thirds of my um, device space. What is it that I have? Okay, so as you can see from this image, and it's not a screenshot of mine, where it's showing some of the things, um, those arrows that I have. If I wanted to like, to like increase space, meaning I need to delete some app mm -hmm. off of mm -hmm. my device. And to mm -hmm. do so, my device is actually telling me or suggesting to me what I can do to increase more space on mm -hmm. my device. Notice I have where it says in the app store, where it's pointing there, offload on use apps. I have that enabled, meaning any apps that I'm not using, I can enable it and it will be, um, it says here um, that it says save 1.37 gigabytes automatically by offloading on use apps when you're, when you're low on storage, your document and data will be saved. Followed by that, the next one down is automatic delete all conversations, um, messages, all ones that I really don't find important. I've given my device um, instructions to, uh, by enabling it to delete any old messages. It says here that I have uh, say I can save, I actually can save, if I went and delete my old messages, uh, 127.2 megabytes automatically. Mm -hmm. up space. It In says, your system. Go ahead. Your, your system is set up to do this automatically. Is automatically, right. And okay. you'll learn how to do it today. Okay. Then down there, it says review large attachments. I might have large attachments it says, I can save up to 588.8 megabytes of attachments. See photos, videos, attachments, taking up stories and messages and consider delete. It's advising me that that's what I can do to save space, mm -hmm. okay? If you look now below where it says, let's look at the space my apps are using, my iMessage is, is actually occupying 1.05 gigabyte. My mail app is occupying 955.2 megabytes. My Prime Video, that's an app that I, I like to watch um, Amazon Prime Video. That's where I watch my movies. 
Um, that's occupying 762.1 megabytes. Keynote that I, I had to install recently to teach the course is occupying 489.3 megabytes. And so you can keep going down and seeing all the apps and how much space they're occupying. So it's always good to know how much space do you have left on your device? All right, so you're at the point now, you're getting ready to do an update and they're suggesting, let's do some backup first before you do your update. So there are two ways. Before you get started. Before you, uh, before you, hold on, let me just move these individual. Before you get started on update, there are two ways you can, two areas you can back up your, your data on. It says, before you get started, learn, let's learn the different means of iCloud backups. Like iCloud, when we talk cloud, we're really not literally saying the cloud up in the sky. It's really a file cabinet of space on a server somewhere placed either in this country, India, or some other country. In other words, when we think of cloud, we're thinking of like hundreds and hundreds of servers located around the world that, um, that providers have in place to hold data, okay? So that's what we're thinking of when we think of iCloud. A, a, a large computer sitting somewhere in another country, maybe even this country, um, that's taking your data and storing it for you. So there are two ways of doing backup. You can back up your data onto the iCloud or your actual device, depending on how much space you have left there. All right, backup methods for iPads. It allows you, what does it backup? Okay, so it says that a backup allows you to copy and save information from your, if you have an iPhone, iPad or iPod, touch. If you replace your device, you can use a backup to transfer your information to a new device. For example, um, I might have the most beautiful pictures of my grandchildren on my iPad. If my iPad is stolen, or is broken, I will cry because all those beautiful pictures that I've taken over the years that are stored on there, I will have them. And the pictures, you know, are priceless. So what I did is I have my data backed up in the cloud. So if my device dies at any moment, I still have access to all of those beautiful photographs. All right. So like I mentioned, iCloud backs up, it's like your file cabinet. But to, to do a backup on the cloud, you must have your internet or Wi-Fi connection. In your case, you have um, cellular broadband. So you don't have to worry about having an internet connection because you've been provided that. But in the event that you don't, you can't back up to the cloud because you need internet access to back up to the cloud. All right, so what does act when it speaks of backup, what is it actually backing up? Okay, it says that the data that's already stored in iCloud, such as your contacts, your calendar, notes, your photographs, your iMessages, your voice memos, your text, and multimedia. Data stored in other cloud services like Gmail and Exchange are also backed up. Apple Mail data is backed up. Apple Pay, if you buy things using Apple Pay, that's backed up. And your Face ID and your Touch ID settings are backed up. This is all the data that are backed up when you back up. So um, you've reached a point, okay, so I decided I don't wanna back up my data on my device because I want, in case my device breaks, uh, I want to be able to access it if I get a new device. So iCloud backup costs. The company offers much, much smaller storage options. iCloud users are offered free five gigabytes of space. And then there's the upgrade options at 99 cents per month for about 50 GBs and $2.99 and .99 per month for 200 uh, GBs. Which one do I have? I have the 99 cents one where my data is backed up on. So every month when I check my email, I see a receipt coming from Apple um, saying they're charging my credit card 99 cents. Okay. And then, of course, if you're into 
doing a lot of data. Then there's a big one of 999 for two terabytes that you'll never need. You'll never ever need that. How to back up your iPad with iCloud. First thing, you must have your Wi-Fi or cellular broadband switched on. Second, you must go to settings. Look for your name in the upper left-hand corner in settings and tap iCloud, right? That's the third. Then, to, then you look, once that comes in, you say you tap the backup. Mm -hmm. I say stay connected, you wanna tap it and you, we'll show you an image on it shortly of what mm -hmm. I'm speaking of. So backing up automatically um, is done where you don't have to remember to tell your device to back up. You can set it so it can back up automatically at least um, once a month or how often. Like I checked mine, mine was backed up um, on Tuesday without me having to do it because I have it set up for backup. So how do you set up an automatic backup? You go to, of course, you go to settings, then you tap on your name, then you tap on iCloud backup and it backs the iPad up daily. Daily when the iPad is connected, when it's connected to where? Power, it's locked and connected to Wi-Fi. So it has to be connected to Wi-Fi. It also has to be connected to power for the backup to take place. All right, so first thing, settings. Tap on that icon. Then you tap on your name up here. Then once you do that, if you look to the right, um, you'll see where it tells you that I um, I have an iCloud of 50 gigabyte space. So you Ms. tap James, Do you want us to do this as you go along now? And or? the next one, no, I'm, let me lecture and then we're gonna do it. Okay, okay. Yeah, let Good me, morning. I want you to get an understanding before you go there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Then you tap an iCloud and then you back up. All right, so select iCloud backup. You see where it says iCloud backup? I have it on. So that means my, um, my device is backing up every day, right? Mm -hmm. iCloud backup is on. All right, mm -hmm. I have it on. iCloud drive is turned on. All <laughs> these are turned off, if you can see, they're all in green. Everything that I do in contacts, calendars, reminders, notes are all being backed up daily. I have my message turned off for whatever reason. I don't know. I need to go and find out why. But anything that I do here is all turned on for backup. All right, then the fourth, see where it says backup now? First, it says here at the very top, it says backup, automatically backup your apps and data to iCloud at, when this iPad is connected to power, locked, and is have Wi-Fi access. I have it turned on, which means I don't have to remember to back up my device. It's now set up to do it automatically. Now, if I don't do that and I want to back up now for whatever reason, if I want to update, I can tap on where it says backup now. I can tap on that and then that will begin a backup process. Okay. It's it's saying, James. Yes. When you back up your uh, everything, when uh, if you want to delete something, can you delete it? Do you have to go back and follow these steps again? No, no. You do delete oh, okay. whatever. You okay. just go into your files and delete them, and space is freed up. Thank you, yeah. Miss James. That my last. Go ahead, Miss James. Do you have to highlight those? Um, things that you don't want uh, to back up, you want to save certain items, do you do you uh, highlight those things? Or no, you don't need to. No, no. Um, if you notice, I went through the list of all the things that are backed up. That's basically, yes. now you always have access to your files. You can go in and delete whatever you want at any given time. And it will also make the changes in the backup. Oh, I see. Okay. Now okay. this line says last successful backup yesterday at 7.04 p.m. That was the last time my device was actually plugged in somewhere. It has to be plugged in. Again, 
Here's a screenshot of my iCloud storage. I pay 99 cents monthly for 50 gigabytes of space. And I get, like I said, I get that receipt every month. All right. Notice here, now I've tapped my, I, I tapped on backup now. I just took a screenshot of that just to show right before we do the upgrade, you're going to do this. You're going to tap on backup now, and then you'll see this happening. Now, if I wanted to cancel, I can tap on that. But it says, if I go back here and I said, I want to back up now, right now, I tap on that. The next thing I'll see is this. As soon as I tap on that, I'll see this right here, backing up. Notice this, this, this line here is saying, it's estimated the time remaining left for the backup. Okay, tells you it's begun and how long, you can get an idea of how long it's gonna take. If you don't have much, like if you, if you back up every day, you don't even have to worry about this because it's done automatically. But let's say you haven't been backing up and I'm sure that some of you haven't been, you know, this is your first time probably learning about backup. So we'll, yours may take longer than mine because I back up daily once my device is plugged in. So the time varies. Miss right. once you put it on automatic backup, then you don't have to back up every day, do you? Exactly. You don't okay. have to back up every day. Every time okay. the device is plugged in, it'll back up. So if you plug it in at night, it's gonna back up that night automatically. All right, so you've backed up the data. The next thing you need to do is now install the iOS um, iPad 16. That is the next thing you do. Where, so you go to settings again, then you go to general, then you go to software updates. And we'll do it's very simple. And if you notice, we're in settings. I went, I'm pointing to general. Then I go to software updates. Okay, I tap on that. Once I've tapped on that, the next thing I'll see, okay, automatic updates. Now notice it says this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. You'll most likely see this on my iPad, on your iPad when you get there. And it's saying available is the upgrade. What has happened is that I did not back up my last recently, the 15.71. Um, upgrade, which means I've, they're suggesting that this needs to be updated, but most importantly, this one is the one that I need to work on. So I need to do what? I need to download it and install it. That's where you go to next. So you're now in the other map, you're now in the um, updated, you tap on download and install. And this is what will install. I did not do mine because I wanted to show you on my device how it's being done once I begin sharing my screen on the iPad. Um, it says I will do my backup. Um, you can do yours so I can assist you. So that's the next thing we're going to now. And I'm gonna, now, um, so I want you to stay in Zoom. You're gonna double click your device and then go to settings while I set up my iPad right now to show you on the screen and show you how I'm going to get mine done. Ter Teresa, can I ask you something? Um, sure. Since I updated mine already, should I go to the procedure of doing the backup? And then yeah, you want to set up, if you haven't been doing automatic, then you want to set it up for automatic backup. Okay. So let's okay. do that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, set mine for automatic. Yeah, you've already done yours. Yes. Okay, that's good. And now, uh, may I? If you've I already mine. put, um, if you've already put, I've done uh, mine too, done your iPad OS sixteen okay, update. Okay, well, I haven't done mine. Please put that so. in the chat so I can mark that you've completed it, please. But oh, the, oh. the only thing is, is that yeah, if you've already done it. For example, Brenda, you've done yours, and I think a few others. We need to keep on mine too. All all that has been completed. Uh, Teresa, may I ask a question? Uh, this is Diane. Hi, my Diane. Question, 
how 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 you all this morning? My question is that we're gonna back up the iCloud first and then follow procedure. Well, you can back up to iCloud or you can back up to your device. It's up to you. Yes, but I will show you how to do it. So just okay, watch. I'm 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 listening real hard. Okay, so just watch and I will show <laughs> okay, you. Okay, thank you. I am now going to. Um, all right, now I'm going to share my screen. Okay, Teresa, I'm in settings right now. Should I go back to? Uh, you don't need to go anywhere. Stay, just stay in settings for now. Okay, so thank just, you. Just stay Thanks, there. Teresa, I'm, I'm already in settings, but and and all three of my green lights are already on, like the um download um iPods um updated. So I, I guess mm -hmm. that's already updated. Well, let's not let's not. You might be up being updated on a daily basis, but let's not assume that the actual 16 has been updated. We don't know that yet. We're going to find out. Well, Miss James, I'm like you. My I'm at the 15.71 that I need. I guess I need to do that one before I do the 16. Well, no, you can just go ahead and do the 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So here, go ahead and jump in there. iPad OS 16. You don't you can ignore the 15 update. Yeah. So just click on the upgrade iPad 16. That's what mm -hmm. you click need on to that. do. Okay. All right. Do, do you click <laughs> on use cellular data? Or uh, okay, yes, hit okay. use cellular data Five. because yeah, you're okay, already thank you. you don't need to be concerned about Wi-Fi or anything at this point. You already have you're on the internet because you're in Zoom. So let's see, why is my device showing? Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna to go to settings. You can see my new screen where it says you are sharing screen. Yes. Yes. Now I'm gonna to go to settings right now. Double click, go to settings. And I'm now I'm in settings. All right, so the first thing I wanna to do to back up is that I am going to tap on my name, Teresa James to the left or uh Go ahead. How do I get into? I'm in settings, but it's got uh, it's got general. I don't have what. That's okay. Go back to the top. You're on, you're doing fine. You're in general. What okay. do you see to the right on on your screen? To the right of my screen, I see your uh, at the very top. No, so I, wa I want you to just look at mine for now. And then you'll do yours because you're going to get confused between my screen and your screen. So you want me to look just, at just, mine? Just watch me do it. All right. Don't do anything unless you're confident about moving ahead. I know some people, are, but if you're not sure, just watch me do it. Then I'll stop share my screen. Right. Then it is time to schedule your appointment with our office. I'm hearing a TV going. Well, this appointment. Okay. All right. So. Notice on my screen where it says, um, I can check my iPad storage. So I tap on that and it tells, shows me what's going on in my iPad storage, but I don't want to check it. I'm just showing you how it's done. Mm -hmm. All right, the next thing I want to do now is software. Um, let's, let's just make sure. Software update. Do you That's want me to do it to. as you're doing it? No, I, no, I would, if you feel comfortable doing it, yes. But if you're not, you need to watch me do it. That way you can do it after. Because you're going to get confused between my screen and your screen. So yeah, I you, just did it. I, I say I'm following you. Go ahead. Please. Okay. Stop. Notice Thank on my screen, it's I'm in software updates. Notice that mine is saying automatic updates on. Yours should say that also. All so right. after that, then as long as it's on, we don't have to worry about it anymore. And all the new, yes. all mm -hmm. of the new uh, updates will just come along automatically. Right. But okay. at this point, the next thing yours I need just to showing do, fifteen because you need to download your fifteen. Yeah, but I'm not going to do. It. I'm going straight to sixteen. 
Okay, I like can you hear purposely for this up reason. a little bit? Um, once you tap the name, uh huh, it, it comes up John L. Gray. You tap the name, mm -hmm. but what I see on mine is John L. Gray name, phone numbers, email, password, well, and security. So you're right. I want you to look for general once general. you tap your name. Okay. Do you see general? Yep, gotcha. Tap on general. Okay, now I see it. All right. Now next, I'm in general. So the next thing I'm going to do now is tap on download and install. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to tap on it. And I have to agree to the terms. That's mm -hmm. the first Teresa, thing I think you have to hit iPad OS 16 because that's going to download the 15 update. Right. So you I'm have to directly tap on it. Right. Thank you, Alex. The next thing I'm going to do is tap on agree. I agree to the terms and conditions. Tap on that. It's asking me if I do. Yes, I do. I agree. Mm -hmm. And it says here, um, if you leave the Wi-Fi, you can continue downloading. I want to use cellular data. So I tap on that because that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. OK. I just tapped on that. This is important. Automatic updates for this information. What happened? OK, so notice my update. It's now doing 15 first, and then it's going to go and do 16. It says okay. it's got mm -hmm. about two minutes left for the 15 to download, not to update, to download. download. OK. Because download <laughs> comes first, then updating yep. comes second. Mm -hmm. So, Miss James, mine went straight. I just clicked the 16, and, and now it's downloading just Excellent. the six. I can see it all varies. Everybody's oh. iPad is, and you might be at a different, you know. Uh, no, it, it, didn't, it didn't go to the 15 first. It just, I just clicked the 16. Right. But mine went oh. to the 15 first. Because okay. I was telling you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but your goal is for the 16. Okay. That's your goal. So do, I don't have to go back to 15 later, do I? <laughs> no, 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 you don't. Okay. No, you don't. Okay. So I'd like to assist anybody now who's struggling. I am, Miss James. I'm oh. at I'm at general right now. So okay. So when you tap on general, do you see on the other side of you the, the, the another column that says software updates? Yes, I see that. Tap oh, on software. that. Okay, just a moment. Okay, automatic updates. I All see right. the 16, I see the make 16. Sure it's on. Make sure it's on. Is it on? Now, how do you make sure? <laughs> uh, it must well, be, it must be saying that it's right. on. Here it are you talking about your backup or your iPad yeah, OS this, 16, this, ma'am? This update includes bug fixes, security updates, and is recommended for all users. So it okay. seems like it is on, yes. Okay, as long as it's on, that tells me that every time your device is plugged in, your device is being updated. I mean, okay. back back to. Okay. All right. So and I then, see that at the so very bottom. Sure, and then update. go down now and then hit install and update. Okay. Oh, it says uh, install okay. and update. I see download and install, not update. It says this download and security. What information on security? So, Mr. Reese, if all the um, green lights are on, up automatically. I'm hearing. Updated. I'm hearing lots of background, so I'm not sure who I'm hearing. Go ahead. This, um, is it Dolores? No, this is Pamela. I, Hi, I, Pamela. I, I'm at the point where I'm. At automatic updates, Miss James. And I'm at that. the packet, yes. Tap I'm on. at the packet. I'm at the mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at the 16. Yep. But then you, then you said hit the download. It, it's I have at the very bottom it says download and install. That's your goal. Tap on that. That's your last. You okay, know. and it says use you sell your data to download. Tap on that. Okay, I want to continue. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, update requested. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. And then it seems it says it's just update requested and it's 
It doesn't seem to, it's, it's okay. It's three minutes remaining. Okay. From the update, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I need to wait the three minutes. Yep, wait till that line is completed. Okay, and now two minutes, okay. Mm -hmm. It may take longer than that. <laughs> it, it will take longer than that because mine's jumped from 34 minutes to two hours back to nine minutes, 11 minutes, says two minutes. <laughs> I don't okay, know what's well, going to happen. <laughs> well, just, and I'll tell you why. Do you have it plugged in? You have, must have no. your device powered up. No, it's not plugged in, but it's 99% charged. Um, it's always best to have it plugged in. Oh, so I need to plug it in. Yep, got to do that. Oh, okay, I'll plug it in. Mine is plugged in. So it'll make it go faster? Yep. Okay, okay. I'll do that. Oh, my God. Don't We're panic. There's no reason to panic. Preparing for update. There you go. But this is still on the 15.7, preparing. Yep, you're gonna to have to let it go through its process. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. What came before the 16? <laughs> it's not, mine is not. Doing it. Mm -hmm. So if mine says um, 16.11, that's already, um, is, it is already updated. Yep, yours is, if yours is saying 16, yours is in good shape. So, Miss Miss James, is um once you get the automatic, I and mean, once you get this updated, is that that's not the same as backup, is it? No, no. Okay. Backup takes you. You actually back up your device before you update. Oh, you never. Okay, I need to back up. I, I didn't it's a safety. It's a safety measure. So okay. once this updates, I gotta go back and back up. Well. Yeah, you, you always want to, you should have done it before. Oh, okay, okay. Or if you had it on automatic updates, if you had that on, you don't have to worry about backup. Okay, yeah, it was on. Well, then you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. Yeah, my, um, ours is automatically on, and she didn't say that initially. Yeah, if it's on, you don't have to worry about backup. If it's off, that's when you should be concerned before you update. Okay so, okay. so now that what is does already that mean, on. Uh, Teresa, if it's just late, um, saying preparing for update, but the line is not moving. Do you have your device plugged in? It's plugged in. All right. So okay. then it's probably doing some All right. hard work. Like I said, everybody's device. Everyone's is iPad is different. Different. Mm -hmm. It might not so look just, like it's moving, give it a minute. Minute. but it's moving. Mm -hmm. No, it's not moving. Not just like that. It is not moving. But one thing we got to realize is that the, even though it's updating, it has to configure all the new stuff in there. So right. the line may not move that fast. Right. right. It's not moving that fast. It don't look like it's moving. Uh -huh. Hello? Believe me, if it's using, oh, if it's using the noun preparing, it is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Okay, uh, uh, Teresa, this uh, is this is William Henderson. Yeah. My, my my sixteen is uh, uh just finished downloading. Also, then it update then it should auto, then it should go into automatic update yeah. now. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, thank so, so he he's finished once he has finished uh, updating. He's he's finished. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while for him to update now. Okay. And it, when it when it finished downloading, your your iPad is going to restart in order to update. So, oh, um, it, it automatically restart by itself. Yeah, so you might yeah. get kicked off the call. So okay, okay. What you should have did was you. sometimes it'll turn off what and then do. it'll turn back on. What you do is it it automatically updates. You shouldn't have to update, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I don't hear anything. Uh, hello. Yeah. I yes. Yeah. We can hear you. Hello. Yes. yes. Um, I would like <laughs> to ask a question. This Miss Maxine. Go ahead, um, Maxine. Um, mine's have um, I'm in general. It has software update. I see automatic update and it has on, but it's not in green. So that means it, it's on. 
It's on, as long as it's saying on. Okay, then I see the 15, so ignore the 15 and just go to the 16. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, um, I do the download and install, and that will yes. go for the 16, because it says also available. Yeah, just directly hit iPad OS 16, so the bottom one, so you can skip the 15 update. Okay, but don't touch down law and install. No, hit the bot hit the one the button below that, ma'am. Okay. Okay, and this now is it says download and install on 16, right? Yes, ma'am. As long as okay. it says iPad OS 16, that's the one you want to download. Terms agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so then you just okay. gotta give it about 15, 20 minutes. Cellular data, so. right? Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And um, I don't know, there's nothing that's happening. <laughs> okay. Mm. And everyone has to keep in mind your everyone's connection is a little different. We're on Zoom as well mm -hmm. while it's trying to update. So, so for some of you guys, depending on connection, it may be slower than others, but just let it do its thing, okay? Yeah, okay. But this is Carolyn for update, Carolyn Francisco. Um, mine is on 15. Mm -hmm. And it's preparing for update 15 mm -hmm. 7.1. Mm -hmm. And that's all it's doing. Okay, uh, you gotta let it wait and then let it download and then hit iPad OS 16 so you can download the 16 update. Okay. Alex, I'm downloading and you know the Apple symbol is on and the line is moving up very slowly. Is that correct? Mm hmm. Very slowly, yes. It's very, very, very I've got slow. it plugged in. Again, we're we're on Zoom and it depends on your connection, but it's it's still downloading. So you just gotta again, like in the presentation, you gotta wait, you know, sometimes 20, 30 minutes. So just you know, again, let it do its thing, okay? Okay, because the screen went black and the Apple symbol came up. <laughs> okay, if you see that, that means it's in the process um, of updating. So um so just, you know, again, just let it do a thing and just read the screens to see what you got to do next. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. This is Denise Swift. Mine say install now. This update cannot be installed during a cellular call. So do I push the install now? Yes. Yeah. That's what it says at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You want to tell it to install? But it's not doing anything. Because it said at the top, it said download it. But, right. Um, that means it's now on your device. Now you want to um, no it now to go ahead and install. Miss Teresa. Yes. Can can I do it afterwards, or I have to do it while we are on? No, you can do it at your comfort level. Yeah, because I'm having some pain in my hip, and it's a terrible thing. I'm yes. listening and writing the stuff, but I'll do it afterwards. Okay. Excuse me but again. The, the old update that we did before, that's not the same, right? We did an update way back. Oh no, I cut off. No, that no, that's not the same. This is, okay. a, this is a more general, more important one, more significant one. Yeah. Also, oh, excuse me again, this Denise Webb. I'm pushing install now, but it's not doing anything. Um, that's how it goes. Yeah, sometimes it is. Is your device plugged in? Yes, I have it plugged in. Yeah, um, just give it a moment. These devices okay. have their, a mind of their own. Teresa, okay, because it's in mind, mm -hmm. it looked like it was never moving, but it was moving. It takes mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, like I say, all of us have our own DNA. These devices True, yeah. have their own. Your <laughs> device. Mm -hmm. We may all be the same, but you have your own, your, your own, um, you know, whatever's going on on your iPad and is different. Teresa, I'm going to share my screen and show them something really quick, okay? Go ahead. So and, when, go if, ahead. when you, when you have your device updated and everything, you can check to see if it did, if you go into your settings. Yes. And then, and then go into general. So you hit general mm -hmm. and then you hit software update. When you hit software update, it needs to say mm -hmm. iPad OS 16.1.1. iPad OS is up to date. So make sure that yep. you see that so that you know if your, if your yes. iPad is updated. If you don't see this, um, you're gonna have to either download it or, yeah. And then again, make sure 
you have all of the updates automatically. So make sure it's green on the right side for all three of these options. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mine went through now, Carolyn. Mine said three hours, about three hours. Wait. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so what happened? My charger what? is running hot. It's running hot? I get the, you know, the plug, you know, um, the, the little plug that I plug in is hot. Yeah. Are you connected to Wi-Fi, ma'am, or no? Yes, I thought I was. Does She's it say 5G something. at the top right of your screen? Uh, Does it say 5G at the top right of your screen, or do you have the Wi-Fi symbol? Um, I have the Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, again, it, it just depends on your connection, and you. And again, everyone is is on Zoom, so of course, Zoom is using some of. Uh, you know, some some power in order to be on Zoom. So it again, it varies from individual to individual. So for any future updates, what I recommend is like you put your iPad on charge at night, you can update it or have it start updating before you go to bed. So by the time you wake up, everything should be already updated. So once okay. my, go ahead. my iPad says 1611, uh, iPad is 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 up to yeah. a again that you're looking at your screen um and not mine just to be sure but again on my screen if you have updated your software again it should say ipad os 16.1.1 ipad os is up to date yes that's what my and you sure Three it's not on the screen you're seeing yeah i just stopped sharing yeah kill mine, it alex so. that's why yeah. i took mine off <laughs> teresa i was able to back up my iCloud okay and well mm -hmm. I, I I updated my system yesterday so mm -hmm. I was able to put it on automatic so I'm up to date good to, good to go <laughs> so you can remain in class or you can exit those of you who are already uh, installing your um your 16 you can exit and just leave your iPad plugged in okay all right Teresa all right have a nice evening uh, <laughs> You, you mean we can walk away from the from the iPad and just yeah. Let it, once it, you once it's woo. updating, yes, you can leave it. Just make sure it's plugged in. Okay. Miss Teresa, are you saying um? Oh, it came out. And defies the the um the settings or from the class. You what do you? I didn't hear that question. Are you there. saying? Are you saying exit? Um, you, you can leave the um the, the settings. You can leave, you can leave, leave the class. The you can leave the class. Just oh, keep okay. the device plugged in. Three, so, okay. And then Three, it should be ready by one o'clock for you to join my class later on at one. Okay, thank okay. you. Have a good day. Well, Three. You too, Jack. Three. Three. Yeah, can I get it? Three, so okay. on my iPad. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. It had download iPad update is and that's in green and mm -hmm. the install ipad updates in green but i don't see anything about 16 and then we say general i see a little red one um on the word general am i supposed to tap okay, that so let's, let's go back you're in general right yes mm -hmm. and to the right column you see software updates right well, the, yeah. at the top i see the word yeah. software you tapped on that Okay. Now Once I'm you tap on that, you should see where it's now asking you, what do you want to update? You want to make sure that your updates are automatically <laughs> on. And then lower to that, it should say update now. You want to tap on update now. Um, I see the software. Okay, when I tap on the automatic software and it's go to the next screen, and then it got download iPad updates. We got that in green. And then it got download iPad updates in green. And then underneath it got the word automatic install software updates overnight after they had been downloaded. You will see a notification before updates are installed. Your right. iPad must be charging. And yeah, you, you're in the automatic okay. updates um, menu. There so you if go. you go back, go if back. you go back, mm -hmm. then you should again see that screen. Either it says I. Uh, iPad OS 16.1.1 is up to date, or you should see it says download install somewhere. So what do you see, ma'am? When I went back, I see automatic update. And it's down to the bottom. So right, what does it say below that? 
Uh, 15.7.1. And, okay, and below, what do you see below that? that? It say iPad OS 16. Do you see okay. that? No, I'm not seeing no, um, not, not at that at all. Because okay. it went through okay. the procedure. It says um, this app, this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. And, and when I put, and when I tapped on the um, automatic update, when I tapped that on, then no, it no, goes no, stop. Through. We don't want you to go past that. We just want you to stop where it says automatic update. Do not tap beyond that. Look down below and it should say update now. No. Okay, no. update. What is it saying? Okay. Update now. Okay, I see that in gray. Go ahead and tap on that. It said this update cannot be installed during a cellular call. Mm. It's saying because of your Zoom. So, are you? Do you have Wi-Fi in your home, Miss Washington? Yes, I have it both, and it is plugged in. But what I don't understand when I did it the first time, it went all the way through the procedure, as far as the um, the green line going over to the end, and it did all of that. But then when it finished, um, it went back to like the automated updates. And like I say on um, the left hand side, where it says "general," it got a little one with, uh, um, in red. Meaning you're you're not finished. There's still one more to go. But the update now is is great. And when you told me to tap on it, it doesn't do anything. There's nothing there to do. But at the Alex, top, if, Alex, do you think we should have her share a screen? Why why don't we give her permission to share? A yeah, screen? she she's she's already able to. So so Dolores, she's able to share you, a screen. Dolores, can you hit share content on Zoom, please? So if you're on your Zoom app, hit share content at the top. So tap on the screen and hit share content. You're looking for green, the green arrow. So once it's downloaded, oh, okay. I have to click on okay. install now. Up on your toolbar. Alex, why don't you pull her into a breakout, breakout room and help her? Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll work with the others. Okay. Thank you. So all right, so Lynette, did you say something? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, now it's downloaded. So do I click on install now? Yep. Install now. Okay. And then you can leave your device plugged in, walk away, and it'll and walk it'll away because be it's gonna take a while. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hello, okay. Miss Teresa. Uh huh. Yeah, this is Shirley Bagley. I was, I'm having the same problem the other lady is having down at the bottom and say this. Uh. -uh update cannot be installed because because uh, of a cellular call that, oh, it just means you, you, when you can't do it on zoom so when you get off the call today just try it again and see what happens try it again oh, okay. once you're out of zoom when you're out of zoom so i got to leave zoom, zoom and then press install now there you go That's okay because I, I got the same message she got all right <laughs> well, Shirley, I can do it on Wi-Fi or cellular. Yes. So, Shirley, what you do is after you're out of this Zoom, or you can exit now, go back uh -huh. into settings and, and tap on install now, and you shouldn't have any problems. But make sure your device is plugged in. Okay, okay. it's plugged in. All right. Okay, so, um, so, so get out but, of Zoom. In other words, exit the meeting. Okay, okay. all right. And then go back into settings and then go to general and then software updates and then install now. Okay, okay. I saw the 16 down, it had the 15 and then it had 16 down the bottom, but mm -hmm. I hit the 15 to no, install. No, just install install now and it'll, it will install both of them. Okay, it was on, okay thank yep. you, I got it. It will install both of them. Mine's okay, thank said, you, Teresa, Miss Allen. Mm -hmm. Mine's he said, unable to check for update. An error occurred while checking for a software update. Try again or cancel. Yours, repeat what it says again. It says, unable to check for update. Are and you plugged in? Yes. Okay. An error occurred while checking for a software update. It says, try again or cancel. And I've been okay. pushing try again and to do the same thing. Now go back into general. Go back to general, okay. And once you're in general, look for software updates. Okay, wait a minute, it won't need move from there. Maybe I need to cancel and then go to general. Okay. 
Okay, when Dana came up and said about software update. Tap on that. Tap, tap on that, okay. I tapped on automatic update on. Check okay. for update. No, I don't want you to tap on that. No. no I don't I tap on. I want you to look down to the bottom where it says software update. Software update. <laughs> No, it's there. I, it's, it's on. There, it's, it's below on. the automatic up, updates on. It's below that. It's below. It this the thing just popped up again about this software. It says okay, check so, for updates. All right. So, so what I think might be because you're on Zoom, you may be having a problem. So uh -huh. what I would recommend is once you exit the meeting, go okay. into settings and just follow the steps. And then follow the steps. Okay. okay. Going to set be because company. you're on Zoom right now. Okay. So, so that's like I said, everybody's device acts differently. It all depends on your bandwidth. Okay. Now I just pull up uh, download iPad, update it, got green, install iPad uh, OS updated in this green. Right. So. Okay. You know, on this side, it's a contact calendar, note, reminder, message, FaceTime. And then it says automatic install software update overnight. After they have been down, downloaded, you will receive a notification before updating or install. Your iPad must be charged and connected to Wi-Fi to complete the update mm -hmm. so like i suggest once you Wait. get out of zoom go ahead mm -hmm. plug in your ipad go to settings then go and to software uh, updates and just follow the steps okay all okay. right thank you all right i'll go to the next person samsung i don't know who you are but this is some samsung go ahead may i have your name you're muted you're muted so i need to hear you you're muted i can't hear you I'm trying to figure it out, ma'am. How are okay. you? Okay. Uh huh. My name is Carolyn, and I am Miss um, Ethel People's helper. And mm -hmm. so we, I met, I, I talked to Alex. Alex, I was trying to send you a direct message too, but I was just wondering by chance because we had initially thought that the classes were on Tuesday when I was there to help her. But mm -hmm. I, Miss Peoples is so interested in getting this class done. And but the problem is, is that I'm not there on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know if there's any chance like today, I just logged in from my house to get the information that you are doing. And then I can do it when I get there on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Well, next, this, next week I'll be there on Wednesday, but then I can just go through it with her slowly because it's a little, it's a lot for her to, you know, be engaged with, you know, trying to do it with you all listening and everyone else talking. And I just wanted to know if that was an option for her. Yep. There's an option where I could send you the link. Do you want it to go to your email address or to Miss? Oh, Peter? no, actually I have. I remember it by heart. I've done it with her so many times, but we were doing it on the wrong day. We were doing it on Tuesday, the extra credit days. But right. I like I logged in today from my house. So I've been on the call since about 11, about 10 50 is when I realized I was late. So why don't I send you the link for today's okay. meeting and you could watch okay. it with her okay. when you go in whenever you're, you're next there and just gotcha. follow, follow the steps on how to do the backup. And yes. how to download. Why don't I? Do oh yeah, that? and I and I and I'm familiar with that. I can do all of that. So that's what I was thinking. I can do those things when I get there on Tuesday. Okay, so you don't need me to send you the link then. No, um, no. I you can still send me the link just for the pat the previous things. Um, but the, as far as what you all were doing today, I'm very familiar with that, and I can do that for her on Tuesday. Okay. Well, I appreciate you helping, Miss People. Oh that's no worries, no worries at all. Uh -huh. No worries. And um, my email address is my full name. It's Carolyn, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N, mm -hmm. Lion, L-Y-O-N, uh -huh. at yahoo.com. Okay, so I'll keep in touch with you then. I'll send you. So you need to let me know then, Carolyn, what is it you need links to, and I can send you any previous recorded meetings that you have that you, you can watch with her. No worries. Um, guess what? If you don't mind sending me from probably the last three months when she's had the um <laughs> thing, because again, like I said, we were doing them on Tuesdays because I, we thought I, we thought we were helping. We thought we were right. doing something. Well, I'll I'll send you a uh, first. I'll send you a module one. Okay. And then you'll re email me and say send module two. Gotcha. Once you finish with one. 
And then okay, we keep you. going until you get all six modules. No point. Okay, and all. again, uh -huh. And also, I, I sent Alex a message because, again, like, I know that she's on this call right now. Like, she probably doesn't even know I'm on this call, but she uh, is, I'm sure she's on it, but her name isn't in the thing again, so. Okay, all yeah. right. So, but again, I'll, if it has to be that I just do the next six classes for her to catch up, I'll just do them for her, and then I'll go back and um, explain each of them to her. Thank you, Karen. It's such a wonderful task you're doing there. Thank you. Thank you. You, oh, no worries. Thank you. You all have a wonderful day. I will send module one to you. And then from there, we'll go from, you know, until you get all six modules. Got you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. All Thank right. You. Christine, all right. Christine, you need help. Your hand is up. You're muted, Christine. You need to unmute. There okay. you go. Oh, okay. My question is, I want to know, am I up to date with the six classes? And do you have it recorded? Well, we're not doing attendance now, Christine. <laughs> okay. No. Um, Could you call me back or let me know? Well, <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm not I'm oh, not doing attendance right now. Or oh, Alex, um, somebody to call back to let me know where I am. Can you put your number in the chat? Do you know how to do that? No. <laughs> so what is it you want to know? You want to know if your classes are up to date? Yes, I did the survey. Mm -hmm. I have okay. six. All right, then. I will make sure that happens. Okay, right, and I already finished the survey. All right, Christine. Okay, thank you. All right, Diane, your hand is up. Go ahead, Diane. Yes, hello. Uh, um, Teresa, my question was um, the iCloud. Mm-hmm about the iCloud, once we up to date, you say it's automatically in the iCloud and everything up to date in the iCloud? Well, not necessarily. Are you saving your data on iCloud? That's what you need to ask yourself. Have you started doing that? But no. If you, right, so then it's not being saved in iCloud. You have to turn it on automatically and it will go to iCloud. Okay. So it should, so how do you determine that? You go to um, settings, then settings. to general. Go ahead and do it now. Go to I, settings. I got that. Okay. Go to general. Okay, I'm at general. Go look over on the other side if you see software updates. Yes, I'm updating 16 now. Right. Well, I want you to look to the top if it says automatic uh, update on. Yeah, it it's on? on. So you it's are, being, you are, you, it's then you have nothing. It's being, it's been backed up. Okay. Now, um, another question, my Wi-Fi, I'm using my private Wi-Fi and I went to Wi-Fi to try to change it to their network, but I don't know how to because, okay, so uh, go ahead. Now I want you to go back, you, go back, go back into where you, in the initial part of settings, where your name is? Yes. Are uh, you seeing your name? Yes, I do. Look down, what do you see on this? Do you see cell, do you see Wi-Fi on? I see Wi-Fi in my, my uh, home right. Wi-Fi. Okay, then I want you to go down to cellular data and tap on that. Okay. What do you see next? I see uh, on to the right. To the right. That's that's what I'm looking at. I see roaming off. Okay, but do you see cellular data with it being green? Is it green? Yes, it's it's. That means yeah. you are. You, so that means you have you can use either Wi-Fi or cellular data. And what happens is you use Wi-Fi first, and if Wi-Fi isn't working well, then cellular data is your default. Right. So you but don't have to worry about that. Okay, well, how do I get back to my cellular data? You are in cellular data, right? You're there. It's on. You said it's in green and white. Yeah, it's in. Wait a minute, let me see something. Okay, now. Okay, wait a minute. He's on. Right, right. But then it says sell your plan is AT and T. Right, that's the one that Zacco pays for you. They pay a monthly plan for you. Right, but but it's on my Wi-Fi. Well, no, 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 no. Let's 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 start again. 
you've got Wi-Fi, you have cellular data, okay? Right. Neither of them can give you access to the internet. Right, I got You have that. them both on. You have your Wi-Fi. You told me you have your Wi-Fi on, right? You told me that. Yes. And you also have your cellular turned on. Yes. So if you don't want to use your Wi-Fi, you need to turn it off and just use cellular data. How do you do that? You tap on Wi-Fi, you tap on it. Once you tap on it, you just to the right, turn it off. Make sure it's no longer green and white, but gray and white. Okay, let me see. Okay. I got it, I got it now. Uh, see it? Yes, I did. That's how you use your cellular data. Okay. So you're no longer using your Wi-Fi anymore. Okay. But if you decided that you want to use Wi-Fi, you can go back, tap on the Wi-Fi, go over to the right-hand column and tap on that gray and turn it on. And then it becomes green and white. All right, now this is what happened. This update cannot be installed during a cellular call. Right. So exactly. So you have to have your Wi-Fi on. Okay, I got you. I'll now go back is it and, making sense? Yes, I got I go back and turn it on and yes. have to download and everything again. I yes. got it. Okay. Yes. All right. Any how's everybody else doing? Louise, your hand is up. Go ahead, Louise. Louise. I wanna I wanna ask you, do we have to do the backup before we do the um update? You just joined the class, Louise, because that was my first thing. I spent like 15 minutes on backup. Uh, um I I was listening, I was having some issue here. <laughs> so yes, my, backup my, is always important before to, you do your update. To check to make sure that everything is in line. Yes. Backup is the first thing you do. And if you're automatically being backed up, then you don't have to be concerned about backing up. So how do I know if I am ready to back up? You see, you weren't paying attention, Louise. You're giving I me wasn't. work. I'm way past my time. In fact, I have to go now because I need to prepare. No, it's OK. Yeah. I can but skip you can, it. Yeah, yeah. You need to skip it because you're taking me backwards. And I, I'm way over my time limit. I want to just say goodbye to everyone. Thank you for participating in the class. Please, if you get a chance, send me an email once you've realized that you're all you're now an operating um, 16. We need to know that you are now fully backed up. We need to log that. So make sure, send me an email or send Alex an email saying mm -hmm. I am fully on my iPad 016 operating system. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So I must go now. Alex. Well, we have a class of one, right? There is a class of one. Mm -hmm. regular. I am going to repeat this again for those who've missed it, but not in the morning, but I'll be repeating it in the afternoon um, a week from now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. then. We have to let the young people, their teacher, how to go back and do it. So you have I can't hear nothing. Is the meeting over with? I'm not sure. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. How you doing? All right, and you. Uh, we're getting taller. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it start back at one o'clock, right? Yes, I think so. I go and cook my uh, dinner. <laughs> All right. You, you enjoy right. yourself. Uh. You too. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.